welcome everyone. And as uh, more people would uh, come in, we would uh, extend the list of people that we'll be presenting. And uh, first, we'll say a few introductory words uh, on behalf of the organizing team. And I see that we have here uh, Gwenel, who is a fellow uh, co director of the uh, Talent chapter. I'm uh, Dr. Osim Dimov, the one of the other uh, team members behind this. And uh, we're working with uh, Gwenel as uh, e residents and entrepreneurs that are trying to promote the tools to uh, increase the participation of people all over the world in uh, digitally owned, digitally governed uh, businesses all around the world. And Estonia, as you know, provides this amazing opportunity. I'm just going to say one more sentence about uh, me, myself. I've been involved with the Founder Institute that is the leading uh, organization behind this event. Uh, for several years, I've worked with them, and um, now I'm also the vice president of the Estonian e-resident organization called Erika. And I'll just pass the floor to Gwenel if he wants to say a few words. Yes, with pleasure. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hi. From Northern France, in fact, uh, because I'm here resident and still living in Northern France. Just uh, came back two weeks ago from Tallinn. Uh, very happy to, to have stayed two weeks there. And um, on my side, I'm also vice president of uh, Erika in charge of uh, po um, political relations. Uh, I used to work at the European Commission, now working a lot, especially with uh, Belgian uh, entities, organizations, and helping also young entrepreneurs in Belgium uh, in the different entrepreneurship programs for students here in Belgium. And that's it for me. Maybe uh, we can ask, uh, I don't know, Ragnar to present himself. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Hello from my side. Happy to see you from face to face, uh, at least from the screen now. Uh, Tony uh, spoke a lot of you about the. Uh, Erika doings and Founder Institute actions and uh, happy to be on board. One office, uh, presenting one office uh, and we're happy to give a award in the end uh, who will be the best one and happy to help them to get the company started and uh, business idea and business itself up and running. That's what we do. <laughs> Great, Great, thanks a lot. Would you like to present the other jury members, Gwenel? Sorry? Uh, we, we have a few more jury members. Maybe we could go ahead with uh, Daniel, who is uh, in the venture capital business as well. Yes. Maybe you could say a few words. Yes, hello guys. So my name is Daniel Bokler. I'm uh, working in Budapest and in Lisbon. So it's a Hungarian Portuguese venture capital slash private equity company. And um, yeah, I don't know, like I, I work in Switzerland, in China, and right now I'm based in Hungary, but I was, I don't know, three weeks ago in Lisbon. So uh, yeah, but we are investing mostly in uh, Europe. Great, and we also have uh, Kalyan, uh, Dr. Kalyan Palimi, Parimi, who is uh, a distinguished uh, published uh, author, uh, programmer in AI consultant, and we are also working together on a book that is coming up this um, autumn about practical applications of uh, data science. But Kalyan, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Yourself. I have been traveling to yes. multiple places now, based out of India, but you know, traveling to New Zealand, Australia, multiple other places. I'm from data science domain. I do end-to-end -end analytics, and I also have 13 plus researchers, two patents, and four books on my name, and still growing. And thanks to Rosen. So yeah, thanks for having me here. Great. 
And among the jury members, we have uh, Federico Pirola. Sorry that you're the last one, last but not least. <laughs> no problem, Rosen. Thank you for uh, uh, having me here. It's, it's actually a pleasure and a honor for me. Uh, I, a little bit about myself. I have uh, 15 years of experience uh, working in the corporate environment in uh, wealth management and in uh, IT and project management. Uh, so it's a pretty diverse background, which uh, I hope is uh, useful to uh, better see things from different angles. And um, I'm also here because I would like to uh, uh, give my contribution to further developing the, the e-residency community uh, in uh, providing additional uh, resources uh, to the community itself by leveraging on, on its network. So uh, for me, this is a great occasion to get to know more, more uh, interesting people. So thank you everyone for, for uh, uh, your time and for being here. Grazie Federico. It's a great opportunity for Okay, now maybe, uh, I don't know if somebody else wants to present himself or herself. Maybe uh, Raimo from the e-residency team. Yes. If yes. you would like to say why the e-residency team is supporting this initiative and who you are as well. Yeah, I'm uh, Raimo. I'm head of partnerships at uh, the e-residency team and also one of the people who is working more closely with uh, Erika as well. And why we are supporting this initiative is, all, of course, the fact that the residents are actively involved in that. And uh, we always try to support the residents uh, in, in, uh, in starting and, and developing the journey of being an entrepreneur, uh, especially in Estonian company, of course. <laughs> but yeah, in general, we, we believe that um, entrepreneurship is, 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 the, is the way uh, people should be encouraged uh, to, to go and then that's why we are we are here and support you great Raimo and would you also like to join the jury or you will just be listening to the pitches yeah I can I can join indeed mm -hmm. all right so let's first explain the scoring system before we go to the pitches. Right now we have eight pitches, but I want to tell to everyone that's listening to us that we could have more um, people pitching today. Uh, we could take the next hour for pitches and we have a limit for the pitches, maximum three minutes per pitch. So if you have slides, please try to make it short. Then we have uh, one minute for every jury member to evaluate, to make a comment about the strong, the weak sides, whatever they wish. And within this one minute, they should also give a score. The scores are one, it needs to be completely revised, uh, pivot is necessary. Two, well, there is a way, but there is a ray of hope. Three is not possible because it's the middle point. Four, you're almost on the way, so keep up the right track. Five is I'm ready to invest into this startup right now. So one, two, four, and five. There is no three. And uh, one minute per uh, jury member to give their scores. And uh, having said that, I think it's a good chance to start with the people that we have on the list. And we have eight startups now, but anyone else that wants to present right afterwards could go ahead. So the first one that we have on the list is Preet. Would you like to take the floor and uh, speak, Preet? And let me try to unmute you as well, because <laughs> you might be trying to speak, but it might not be easy as well. Would you speak, Preet? Yep, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Send how it works. Can I, can I share the screen or something also? Yeah, let's uh, try this. 
maybe uh, Gwen, you could also help me in case I'm too slow to. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. I, I will try to authorize. Um... Yeah, now we should be able to oh. print. Yeah. By the way, oh. Rosen, you're the only one to be able to give the um, give okay. the rights. You are the admin. Okay. Well, sorry, guys. You bear with me. I'm slow. So, Prit, could you share your Wait. screen? Can't see it yet. Yeah. No. Okay. no you yeah. Seems seems you can hear me now, right? Okay. We can hear, you, yeah. But you can't see any any stuff, right? Nope. Uh, we can't see the presentation oh. for the moment. Uh, just a sec. Okay. We can see now you. Can, <laughs> now you can see me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm I'm just checking how to. Okay. So now it should be possible. I'm even made right. your co-host. So we right. have all the rights. Uh, Say the strange thing who can start sharing when someone else is sharing or panelists or new cost. Uh, no idea what to well, do. Right now, no one is sharing, I guess. So maybe you could. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just, uh, just okay. Uh, just let us know and we will uh, take track of the time. So in order to be fair for everyone, three minutes for a startup and we'll give you a sign. Kind of should be okay. Yes, we could see it. Ah, you can see it. Go then. Okay. Your minutes have started. Okay. Then uh, I didn't expect to present anything, but uh, anyway, I trapped the uh, 500 characters, what's, what's all here. Then uh, my company stopped treasury, and uh, we're already in business, and stock treasury has built an alternative to traditional stock ledgers. And uh, shares are issued in book entry form, so now clients don't need paper certificates. And uh, stock that there is a fully digital blockchain enabled corporate stock transfer ledger. It's intended for Delaware corporations right, right now, and uh, it is a true SaaS offering. And our goal is to help uh, startup entrepreneurs and small businesses easily meets our legal obligations to issue stock and we also enforce the stakeholders to follow Delaware's statutory roadmap of trading securities. So this is, this is, this is those are our main goals. Now I'm trying to switch to another window. So we have already launched with an with integration partner in USA in Delaware. And our integration partner is uh, one of the prime uh, rich station. So those are the companies who are helping to set up the companies of providing address and some more services. So sorry, the steady client base already. Our, our partner has about 100,000 active clients. And this is, uh, this is how it looks uh, on, on their website. With our little uh, little presentations about uh, about what we're doing, how it works, who we are. So uh, the main uh, main idea of the product or the service is uh, is uh, that we are we're not really the fintech, but we are regtech, meaning in the regulation technology. So the practice and uh, the feedback shows that. Uh, 
following the compliance and regulation of the law. And um, it was written in the book. Uh, it it is a uh, it is for put it put it this way. It's for on uh, on the end user side and it's even on the advisor side. So we have designed our product uh, in the way that the complex issues can be can be followed um, with like a good easy user experience and uh, and with easy track what has been done what uh, what shall be done right. Sorry and, uh, to interrupt you. Your three minutes are gone. And uh, I'd like to thank you for the presentation and let's uh, leave the room open to the uh, jury to make their comments. And who would like to start first from the jury members? May I, uh, Rosen? Yes, I hope is... your connection will be good enough. Okay. We cannot really hear you very clearly, but you could try. Okay, let me let me uh, give it a try anyway. Um, just very quickly, uh, for me, the, the presentation um, is still a little bit uh, behind what, what I would expect, uh, meaning that uh, um, I need I would like to, to see more clearly uh, what uh, what is the market that you are you are addressing, uh, also in terms of potential growth that you can uh, that you can see in there. And uh, uh, also more clearly what you need. So um, right now for me it was not clear um, what, what is your development plan, uh, what kind of milestones you have, and uh, and uh, and what you need to succeed and to grow. So as a potential investor, this is actually what I would be uh, really looking for. So what uh, what is your market? Uh, uh, what is the, the, the issue and the problem you are addressing, how big it is, and what is your de the development plan you have, and what do you need? Thank you, Federico. We don't have time for answers and additional information now, but uh, this could help you uh, to improve uh, your presentation, and maybe you could even discuss with the jury members uh, later on. Uh, what is your score, Federico? One, two, four, or five for the present? I would say a one for the time being. All right. Raimo, Ragnar, Daniel, Kalian. Uh, I, can, I can just agree with uh, Federico in this. So uh, this kind of presentation should be much more structured and uh, uh, well more prepared. And uh, just for the time, I would uh, give a... Uh, two points uh, for the poll. Thanks. Thank you, too. Uh, Ragnar, Raimo, Kalian. Uh, I can say uh, also my words. Um, yeah, I wasn't aware about uh, this uh, issue uh, in that sense. And that and unfortunately, it didn't got more clear for me uh, also. I think if it's a real issue, uh, then about the technique wise, uh, it seemed logically to solve it. Tech wise, then I think there's a way for sure. Uh, but I didn't get a better picture based on this pitch, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I can say maybe two also, because I didn't understand uh, the endpoints and needs, and as, as was spoken already. Thank you, Ragnar. Kalyan? Yep, so I would go now. So coming to the tech stack, I do understand that, you know, blockchain, you know, how hyperledgers and everything work. So the tech stack seems to be aligned to me. I was going to the website, you know, after this while you were presenting. So yeah, but the presentation wise, what I felt is the end goal of it. And I can see that, you know, you have mentioned on your website that mostly cover Fortune 500 and European companies. So I also wanted to know about the patents, but since we cannot ask for additional information, so yeah, I would just give it two for the presentation, but four for the tech stack because the tech stack is something that, you know, I was actually seeing or hoping because that's quite rare that, you know, blockchain is that's transparency should work. So, yeah. Thank you. And Raimo. 
Oh, yeah, I, I give you two points, I guess. Uh, also, I didn't actually get it uh, like in a detail. What's the what's the idea and who are, uh, are you targeting? So yeah, two. All right, thank you, uh, jury members, and uh, thank you, uh, Preet. I hope this thank is you. useful feedback. You could always reach to the uh, panel to ask for some further advice and they're all mentors in the program as well and hope that you also join the program with the next sessions and the uh, whole semester of the Founder Institute in uh, Tallinn. And uh, now I would like to uh, go uh, next with uh, the um, uh, presentation of uh, Radhika and give uh, her the floor. So I'll just uh, uh, move uh, Radhika to the list of uh, panelists and give her the co-host right so she could uh, present. Um, well, so Radhika, could you hear us? Could you share your screen? Yeah, hi, uh, I thank you, but I don't have presentation with me, so okay. I'll mention it to you. Yeah. So I wasn't prepared that way. So it's you just a shot. Yeah, without the presentation, and uh, then the jury members could uh, evaluate it. So three, two, one, your three minutes start counting now. Thank you. Uh, so good evening, everyone, and I'm really happy to be here to present myself and about my work. I'm basically a medical doctor from India, a practicing oncologist, and uh, also an entrepreneur. And uh, my journey as a business person started when I realized there is you know, a lot of inequality when it comes to health in different parts of the world and also in India be it urban India or rural India. So, uh, and as we all know, technology has an answer for that. So I have tried to bring technology on board and develop few health tech solutions by which I can bridge the gap. And in India, we started with the uh, telemedicine solution way back, three years back, when even we were not even thinking of COVID. And that time we were bridging gap between urban India and rural India with the help of telemedicine and we were providing the solutions. But then there were queries coming from different parts of the world because of many factors. Maybe the cost of treatment is high in different uh, countries or maybe the surgery cost is high or maybe the waiting time is more in some countries. So we were getting those kind of queries that they can come to India and get, can get the treatment. That's how the medical tourism thing came up in my mind. And I have made a, my next venture in uh, my next company in Estonia. So I have a Estonia based company now, keeping in mind that the European people who are looking for some kind of healthcare support with the help of technology we can provide. And every country has something to offer to each other. So that's how like this whole idea of uh, bringing medical care with the help of technology. And we could succeed to bring, although at the moment few countries are not in good shape, but we could help uh, Belarus, we could help Afghanistan, we could help few Middle East countries during this phase, especially for the women who are looking for uh, in vitro fertilization or some kind of treatment in, in India, which is of low cost. So. This is how my vision is. And uh, because of COVID, because the travel has reduced, I have been to Tallinn. I was trying to develop relationship with few hospitals there. And uh, Mr. Everest, I registered my company with one office only. So I, they are very helpful in guiding me all the way. And uh, my plan is once everything is in place like COVID and we can travel, the whole purpose of bringing this uh, organization in place, the first place is to, uh, we can help each other, each country can help each other when it comes to health crisis. Also, there are yeah. multiple issues when sorry, it's come to sorry, patients' data. Sorry, Radhika. 
Sorry to interrupt Thank you, you, but we are limited by three minutes for a presentation. Thank you for the presentation. And now let's hear the jury and uh, their evaluation, their feedback, their scores as well. So who would like to start first? Uh, I think I would, yeah, sorry. Just go, go for it. What exactly is the product? Uh, I'm struggling to understand. Telemedicine is, I, I think, quite wide in some way. Like, can you narrow it down? What exactly the idea idea is? What are you going to well, offer? Raimo, I think this is more of a suggestion to narrow it down because we don't have an opportunity for Q&A. The format is that after each pitch, we are only giving feedback, but we cannot ah, okay, turn okay. Sure, sure. that on sorry, our story. Sorry. But we, we could put you in touch with Radhika and maybe she could write back to you uh, via private message here, or you could put your contact details and uh, you or could after, further discuss. Or after the, the, this meeting, we can you can meet each other in the Air Meet um, event. Yeah. Uh, Raimo, would you like to give your score if the uh, product is not clear then? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's it's one, I guess, because uh, I don't understand exactly what what's the idea. All right, thank you, Daniel. You wanted to go next. Yes. So uh, I like the idea, the basic idea, but it's still not clear for me as well because I I'm, I don't understand if it's a network solution or it's just a knowledge transfer or I don't know. But I think the problem is uh, valid and uh, I like the passion, but uh, yeah, um, still missing a bit of the structure and um, yeah, the, to define more the whole solution that you have and where you are right now. And uh, because of these, uh, the points are two, but uh, if, um, you send me the, I don't know, a bit more clarified version than, or I would get a bit more of your idea than maybe I would get give uh, more because it sounded promising. Thanks. Thank you, Daniel, as well. Kalyan? Yep, so it did sound quite promising and I like the enthusiasm there. So yeah i would but i i lacked few information you know about the boots on ground whether it's a medical consultancy or whether you know you're planning on taking surgeons abroad and you know working as how who works so for that reason you know i'm just giving two but if there is information then definitely it's a four like if it's established boots on ground situation yeah thank you and uh ragnar uh yes uh, I can agree with Kalyan. Uh, I would like to give four because uh, definitely I also like the idea. And uh, also in one office, actually, we're working closely with some clients who have built their similar issues to uh, solve it on a black blockchain even. Uh, and this is uh, definitely a valid uh, topic and issue to solve in uh, worldwide. Uh, but at the moment also, I didn't understand exactly what exactly is the product uh, or what problem they're exactly going to solve. If you narrow it down, probably you can like solve it more better and scale it up, really. So definitely need to work on that, definitely. But uh, I would like to give four, but as I don't know exactly what's the issue and what they're solving at the moment exactly, I have to give two, sorry. But if you bit work on it, I will give four, definitely. <laughs> Thank you, and Federico. Uh, uh, yeah, I just agree with the others actually in terms of uh, the evaluation. So the, the idea, I also like the idea just We cannot really hear you, sorry. It too, honestly, on the way it's presented, the, the uh, oh? Now we can hear you. I guess you made a break, but it's yeah. a two. Uh, okay, uh, just uh, as I said, I agree with the others, with the comments of the others. So, so I generally speaking, I like the idea. It's just a two on the way it's presented because I don't fully understand what is the business model, what 
what is it uh, that you're focusing on and uh, once again what is your need in the end what, what is your rough plan and what is your need and what you need to grow thank you federico and uh, once again thank you uh, ratika uh, good luck with your health tech uh, startup stay for the air meet to interact more with the tour members and receive some more detailed feedback or even cooperation opportunities. Now I would like to um, get uh, here the next. Uh, um, Vitaly is the next one. Yes, that's correct. Thanks, Gwenel, for your help. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Uh, oh, where are you joining us from? Uh, actually, now from Moldova, and uh, uh, I would I would really uh, thank all of you uh, for this great opportunity to be here and to uh, to pitch. All right. So, could you share your screen? Do you see this opportunity? Yes. That's great. Uh, Maybe I, I uh, it can be great if you unmute yourself because I think you're muted. Now it's okay. It's can perfect. Yes, great, thanks. So that's perfect. So three, two, one, go. Go. So please meet Langley, the first third Allen gang for all the English learners from all around the world, aged 18 to 40 years. Uh, my name is Vitaly Petrosyan and I'm CEO of Langley, the product uh, created in, in uh, partnership with the Oxford University. So, there are more than 1.5 billion English learners all around the world and the 8.4 uh, billion is the current uh, online language learning market. And the English language is the headliner of the, of the whole market. So that's, uh, that's the, the basic information about the, uh, the market and uh, some information about the target audience we are, we are aiming to. So the top reasons to learn English uh, is the career and the education. And the main problem all the English learners uh, are facing. So the motivation problem this is the first and the, uh, the other one is the proof of knowledge. It, this is the, the basic uh, the basic problem where when you're trying to apply for a new job or uh, to enroll to, to a, a university. Uh, so we can cover the both with our solution. The solution is very simple as one, two, three. So you can just play, learn, and get Oxford certified if you want. Uh, we are neither a classic game nor an app. So users can learn English by playing and uh, following the storyline with the uh, innovative, with an innovative Oxford English uh, course integrated. Uh, <clears throat> we have some information uh, about the basic competitors. So probably you know all of them, but we actually know how to beat them. Uh, this is the game design concept. Some general information about the, the game. We are on the MVP stage right now and the MVP will be released uh, the next Friday on the Apple App Store. Uh, this is the, the storyline and the uh, gamification model we have. Uh, users, uh, we track progress and help our users to pass the course, uh, the course and learn English. Uh, this is the go-to-market strategy. We will start with the European market and Latin America market uh, with the in-house ads in our uh, current uh, user base. So we have the current user base about 1.5 million active users monthly. Uh, this is the monetization model we have. We will uh, integrate the in-game purchases and uh, we will have in-game ads uh, and we will test two basic monetization model models. One uh, with the in-game purchases and the other one is the subscription based. Uh, this is the roadmap of the, of the whole project. Well, now we are here on, on the Apple App Store MVP, uh, some financial and uh, some KPIs. Sorry, Vitaly, I need to interrupt you. Uh, if you have a final slide, you could go there and uh, we could stay at it while the jury is uh, giving their evaluations. 
Thank you, Vitaly, for this uh, very interesting uh, presentation. As it's about AI, I would like to start with uh, Dr. Karan Parimi to say a few words about this, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Firstly, the presentation was quite amazing and, you know, I understand, you know, how it's using and we have a wide range of audience starting from somewhere between 15 years to you can go till 40 years. And, you know, since everyone is just contained at their home, so this is an app is the best way to sort of utilize that time and, you know, learn something and, you know, ditching the idea of having a standardization for the language and getting an Oxford certification, something people would look up to. So definitely I would give it a four and five if I get to know more about it regarding, you know, the technologies that have been used in the backend. Is it just AI or is it, you know, the algorithm that you're using and whether the algorithm is patented or not or whether it has some copyright issues or not. So yeah, it's a four, definitely a four and five if I get to know more about it, so, yeah. Thank you. Uh, from my point of view, uh, uh, yeah, of course, Pre presentation is good, uh, prepared, structured, liked it. Uh, you, you just went really fast through on the competition, competitive uh, slides, and you said just, yeah, we know how to beat them, but actually this market is so crowded and full. Uh, we saw a lot of startups here in uh, Central or Eastern Europe doing uh, this kind of like a lot of solutions in this industry, uh, but they couldn't really um, show um, good uh, USP to be like, yeah, much more unique. But uh, if you would say more about that, then I may would give you a five, but uh, it's a strong four for sure. Great. Thank you, Daniel. Ragnar? Yeah, I have to agree with others. Uh, very nice presentation. Thank you for that. Uh, definitely a topic to solve. Uh, have kids at home with who are de dealing with the same topics every day. And uh, definitely this could be the way. And I also would give strong four uh, and maybe five, as others said, if I get no more. All right. And uh, how about uh, Federico? Yeah, I would also, I also go for a strong four. Um, what uh, the only thing that basically I, I miss is, uh, yeah, uh, what do you need in this moment to, you have a plan, so this is great and you're showing it. Um, so I need to know what do you need? So what is the, also the resources that, that you would like to, to have or you, you are missing on your, on, uh, on your travel, let's say. And I also agree with the comment that uh, a little bit uh, more um, overview of the market and uh, of your uh, unique selling proposition could be uh, beneficial because, yeah, the, the space is already pretty crowded. So you need to really strongly pass a message that you are uh, differ differentiating yourself from others. So it's in definitely in the right direction. These two things can be improved in, from, from uh, my point of view. Great. And Raimo? Yeah, I give four. Uh, my main concern as well is the competition. There are even a couple of strong players in Estonia, for example, for for language learning. And the second thing, uh, I'm curious, like uh, how well your product will keep the motivation up for uh, for a user. I think this is the key point there to 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 be successful. But yeah, I, I would give four uh, because there is a potential indeed. Great. Thank, thank you. you all jury members and thank you. I will, I will, I will just add Please. something, uh, just add a little sure. something. Uh, Vitaly, if you do it for Estonian, I will be your first customer because I try to learn and believe me, it's quite difficult to learn it when you are in France. So. If you if you start with Estonian, don't forget me. <laughs> okay, we will. Thank you. Thank you very much for your advice. Thank you. Thank you to Vitaly. And uh, now we go to Kevin, who 
Yes, yes. hi everyone. Hi. hi. Um, if you want, I can pitch my my uh, project, but I need to to get the, the sure. sharing screen. Yeah. Just a sec. Now we should be able to share it, right? Kevin, you there? Just uh, unmute yourself, please, because every time uh, for the others also, every time we we um, switch your account from uh, spectator to a panelist or co-host, you are automatically muted. So okay. please for, don't forget, same for, for the others, but don't forget to unmute yourself. Thanks a lot. Okay, okay. can you hear me, everyone? Loud and clear. Okay, perfect. So I'm trying to be really quick. Okay. Um, so I'm presenting you. Yeah. You start. yeah. But, pardon? You could start. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm presenting you WineUp, which is a company that we are uh, still building up, but op hopefully the platform should be ready by a month. Um, the concept is uh, very simple. We would like to become uh, the first European marketplace dedicated to the fine wine and the spirits. So this must, uh, must be the, the place for, uh, for private and reseller like uh, such as restaurant or uh, wine shop or uh, people who, who really loves wine and spirits where they can actually sell their product. The same is for private that they maybe have some wine on the seller but they don't know what to do or they, they basically bought as an investment and they, they want to resell it. So this is basically the structure on how it works for, uh, for sellers in terms of um, uh, subscription, in terms of uh, how they need to, to be validated in their product. The same part for the buyers. So they, we are thinking to do auction and also the buy now uh, opportunity and option. And um, yeah, this is basically the two type of uh, buying way. Also, we, we are thinking about two kinds of a subscription. The one that is the standard one, which is free. So it's ideal for uh, mainly for private that they basically buy just time to time and they sell wine. And we got like a fixed um, uh, percentage of commission from, uh, from the transaction. And then we have a premium one where they can, uh, with, a, with a fee of 500 euro, they're gonna get uh, um, a support and uh, also a discount in terms of a commission for a, for a lifetime. This, this basically project will be useful for a business, private and wine investors, as I said. Um, and, th and then there are the, the reason why, for example, the business uh, uh, often they don't have enough high-end clients to sell their product. The private, maybe they own some fine wine on spirits, but they don't know what to do and maybe can become uh, an actual place where they can even earn some money. And the same for the wine investors, they, they don't have an actual place where they can buy and sell more frequently. Um, in terms of solution security, we are thinking about um, um, an escrow account in terms of uh, uh, give a 100% satisfied and uh, security system in terms of uh, buy and sell. And, um, and then, yeah, this is, uh, must be the, the place for, uh, for all the people that I said. Um, we got a landing uh, on, on uh, uh, winehub.net. So if you wanna have a look, you can subscribe but we should be ready by a month. So this is uh, just a little one, a little, uh, little presentation about the, the project. Great timing. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. uh, Kevin. Exactly Sorry. three minutes. Okay. Uh, wonderful presentation. How about the jury? What would you say? Can I start? Yes, please. Um, I also like it. I like it in general. Um, just one one point is about the once again about the market because there are other um, other applications, other other businesses already active in the, in this space. Um, therefore, I would like to understand a little bit better what is the let's say like the key differentiator 
of, of uh, your offer uh, towards others. Um, good that you are you are already mentioning also your monetization strategy. So this is uh, something I, I appreciate. Um, maybe a, a glimpse at what your what your plans are. This this is a little bit what is probably missing. So what is your development plan and uh, yeah, understand a little bit more of that one. So in general, I would give a four anyway. Thanks, Ragnar. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, yes, I was worrying about rather the reach. Uh, of course, uh, I like the idea. It's kind of like connecting the dots and giving a possibility to sell the goods and wines uh, to the small producers, definitely also. Um, but how are you going to gain the reach? How you you collect all these users in the um, on the on platform? I didn't understand exactly that. How what's the plan for that? Because it's if you have enough users, then actually the volume is there. Otherwise, it's not there, and uh, it's not working so well. So this moment, uh, next time if you present, uh, then add this part also. But I will give four. Uh, yeah, my bad. is four. Thank you, Kalia. So I would start with the marketing strategy here. So how would you market it? Uh, that's what what was not clear to me. How you know you're gonna go and get the users subscribed to this? So if that is onto place, and if I get to know more about you know the the users that you're targeting and how you're gonna target them, then it is obvious that you're gonna earn a lot with your subscription, premium subscription as well as free subscriptions. And also the you know uh, once you know have that marketing strategy, then you know you can overcome your competitors. So if I get to know about it, you know I can give it a five, but I would go with a four as of now. Great, thanks. Uh, Raimo. Mm, I'm struggling a bit, but the number should be, I guess, also four. Uh, however, I'm uh, also a bit worried about uh, how to find the right market uh, for this product. I mean, like, definitely the market is there, but uh, like, uh, why do they need? Why do a customer should choose your marketplace instead of others? And also, like, are the wine lovers and the, like, like I mean, like deep fans of wine and spirits are they actually like active online uh, sellers and buyers at all? I'm I'm just curious. Yeah, that's that's my thought. But four, let's say. Thanks. I hope we didn't. Uh... Yeah, Daniel. Sorry. I almost forgot. Yes, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I think I'm much more worried than the others about the market and the go-to-market strategy, and like at all about the about the research of the needs, uh, customer needs, and everything. Uh, so uh, I I didn't see kind of anything about that. Um, so I, I would give a two. Thank All you. right. Thank you too. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Kevin and thank all you the everyone. Members. Thanks. Thanks to all of you. Feel free to join us for the air meet session to get some more detailed interaction with the mentors slash jury members. Next one is uh, Sam Video uh, or Hiroshi. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. And uh, we have uh, gone halfway through the pitches until now. So let's just. Uh... Um, so may I share my screen? Yes, just a second. You should be able to share it now. Please, uh, Hiroshi, unmute yourself and try to share your screen. Okay, Hiroshi, uh, I think you're muted. Okay. So uh, okay. Thanks. Start right. Mm -hmm. 
So three, two, one, you can go now. Um, okay, so we develop a web-based platform that make it easy to record and handle static video pitches. Um, uh, Including the online communication and the writing digital first, more first, uh, create new user experience, uh, even in the startup industry. Um, the organization working with startup uh, utilize video content at the increasing paces. Um, however, requiring more video content causes uh, different problems, um, such as video doesn't fit the organizer requirement, such as today. So not all the participants prepare the pitch as you expected, right? Uh, because of the uh, lack of feedback system, uh, recorded videos are hardly used further. Uh, for example, for me, it would be uh, easier to understand your great feedbacks uh, if you let left comments on my pitch video, I could read all of them uh, calmly later. Uh, and this is a typical workflow of the manager to organize online startup event. Uh, managers are needed to work with different tools and channels, and this is not inconvenient. So, uh, if the pitch, so to keep the event qualified, uh, the communication cost is increasing. Uh, so. Uh, some video pitch is a tailored software to for organization working with startups such as accelerators, which simplify the process of creating pitch video and increase the uh, increase the productivity of managers. Uh, how it works? So first, from your dashboard, set the parameters for recording pitch, such as deadline for the submit, slide count, timer, and so on, and get the unique link uh, for recording and send it to your startups, and they can open it with any popular web browser. Uh, finally, coded video will be stored by the project on your dashboard. Uh, you can share both the project and each video by a single link. Uh, this is uh, how you can use our platform uh, to your online program. Uh, like correct application with video pitch, maybe it would be uh, uh, good for uh, Founders Institute. Um, the pilot project with the International Accelerator Program this year showed great results. Uh, we created 100 pitch videos with a uh, unified format within one and a half a year, a half a week. Uh, we could increase the productivity more than 60%. Uh, here's a comparison with our competitors. So our platform is optimized for startup pitch video. So our uniqueness is our uh, organizers can set the unique parameter for correcting pitch videos. And besides video, PDF and other text data also can be easily collected and managed in one view. Um, so video on the platform are very easy to use for online event and the catalog page will, uh, with the recorded video is automatically created. So this is our monetizing models, uh, monthly subscription. Uh, Sorry, page I have to interrupt you here because time is gone. So. Please go to the last uh, slide of your presentation and let's wait for the uh, comments by the jury. We have three minutes for uh, startup to pitch. Thank you, Hiroshi, and uh, thanks to your team. So now yeah. let's give the, the floor to the uh, jury members, starting with Daniel this time. Thanks for the presentation. Uh, like your slides. Um, maybe, maybe I just missed it and <laughs> I don't want to uh, jump on this topic all the time, but uh, I didn't see much about the uh, market because uh, like as far as I understand, it can be maybe a really niche market, but if there is a need and uh, there is no other, I don't know, company who's doing this, then it can be good, uh, but I didn't get anything about this. Um, but I see that you are prepared, so maybe you have that. You just couldn't reach that. So I would give uh, this time. I would give a three, but I cannot. So I would give a two. Sorry. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Raimo. Mm, I'm getting the idea, and. Uh... As for example, e residency has organized a lot of, let's say, webinars as well, and also some online events where we have gathered the videos created by others. Then I kind of feel the pain, but I'm also uh, a bit um, like 
cautious whether there is like a good market uh, product market fit for that so uh, maybe also two yeah all right thanks Kalyan. yep so thanks for the presentation it was quite great and i was trying to understand you know the market uh, like how are you planning are you planning on expanding a bit more than just the pitches like presentations and every other you know project research project cover and everything where you know you can get into different domains and you know get a visibility for each and every individual for business individual for you know normal student something like that you know if you are into that then definitely you know it has a lot of scope but if it's just for pitching businesses then i think you know after after some time you're going to face a lack of you know customer turnover ratio so ctr as you call it Apart from that, I would give it a four because the presentation is quite nice and the subscription model seems fine. If it is even has a premium version of itself, then yeah, I was going through the website along with it. So yeah, it looks promising. Thanks, Federico. I subscribe to what uh, Kalyan just said, uh, word by word, I would say. And I would also give a four uh, yeah, with the cautions that, that, uh, that he said. All right. And then Ragnar. Yeah, kind of agreeing with others. Uh, maybe the angle is not correct in the way that just pitching the ideas, rather maybe solving the issue. I got the idea in the sense that you need to be focused, otherwise you cannot like scale it up. But uh, maybe focusing from another angle, just um, gathering different uh, medias like uh, what how it was like shown in the presentation also it could fly i think so uh um i'm positive i'm, I'm here for <laughs> thank you ragnar i think everyone from the jury members have given their score right so i would like to thank them for that and uh thanks uh, once again to Hiroshi, it's great to see that. I guess you're from Japan, right? As far as I could understand. Just um, I, yeah, I'm from Japan, but I'm living in St. Petersburg. So this oh. is our, yeah, our team is a Japanese Russian, like international team. Yeah, and you want to do this business from Estonia. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Branding. And yeah. uh, please stay for the air meet uh, discussion afterwards. And now let's give the floor to the next one, number six on the list is Mikhail Rogov. I hope he's still around. Yeah, yes, uh, hello. And uh, also here, David, uh, he's CEO of our, our company. And uh, can you allow him to share a screen and make a speech? Who should uh, share? I gave it to you, but who do David. you want to? David. Um, David Where Hernandez. Alex, Wait. maybe also it could be. Which one is it in the list? I don't see it. Uh, I can see the list. It's uh, David or Alex. Do you guys see him or Gwen? Did you see him in the list? David, can you unmute yourself? I think it's possible. Is he here? No, I don't Mike, think I so. have the same account as you, Mike. Mike, I have the same account as you, Mike. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's try. Uh, let's uh, allow to share my screen, please. And yeah, okay. Is it him, the team? Yes, yes. Okay, so let, let me give the access right to him, the team. Now, yeah. him, the team. <laughs> so you're basically uh, the so same team, I can know. Yes, yes, right. And the team, could you share your screen? I don't know, I'm trying to give him the... Okay. Yeah, now he's 
there. Yeah. Now, can the team, you could share your screen. Sorry, can you guys see me? Yeah, we can see you. And yes, we can the hear you. Uh, we logged in with the same account. And there was that. Uh, What's your was name? Then. Once again. Um, he logged in with the same account, and there was that uh, overlap there. Okay, All cool. right. I will share my presentation now. Sure. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So our name is Helmda Systems. Uh, we are your life quality enhancement. Uh, we are a company dedicated to providing present and future technologies especially in the case of uh, certain industries that don't have special needs uh, covered, like helmets that are appropriate to them. For example, the firefighters or special units, they don't have adequate uh, uh, protection of the face, they don't have good telecommunications, and they don't have uh, a way of protecting their head better. And of course, we're developing not only the helmets, but also the bodysuits. In the case, for example, of the healthcare system, you can see that with that kind of uh, protection, if you can call it that, the communication is not adequate and even the protection is proven not to be adequate. So what we are proposing is also a type of headset that will help uh, people be protected and have uh, also uh, more productivity. This is part of our market comparison. Uh, there are not many concepts like ours, but these are some um, smart helmets and just our basic uh, helmet is head and shoulders above all the features of the current uh, smart helmets in the market. And in our roadmap, as you can see, we have established uh, insert in some uh, um, digital products as uh, market strategies. This is our team. We are a very solid team and very experienced in many different fields from telecommunications to mechanical engineering, uh, et cetera. Uh, what we are asking for right now, we're seeking 600,000 euros uh, to be gathered before the end of the year. And this is our proposed um, Productivity by the fourth quarter of 2022, we will be producing around 25,000 units or the equivalent of 18 million euros in revenue. We have some intellectual property already in place on patents and trademarks. And this is our vision. If you would like to hear more about it, I'll be delighted to talk to you about uh, our long term vision. And this is our information. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're, we even have uh, 30 seconds uh, more, David, uh, mm -hmm. but we could use this for the jury to give you some more detailed uh, feedback. Uh, sure. Very interesting. Let's start with Daniel this time. Sorry, could you give me uh, one minute? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. So yes. Let's, uh, First, we'll start with the uh, Alan. If you're ready. Or whoever I was still ready. going through the website. <laughs> Sorry about right, it. So. Whoever is ready, you know. <laughs> Ragnar, Raimo, Federico. The product. I can uh, I can maybe I can I can start. Um, Go ahead. Okay, we can't hear you, Federico. Uh, uh, please, please go ahead, please. Okay, so, okay, Raimo, maybe. Ah, okay, so I go. Uh, okay, yeah, you you can go, Federico. Okay, you can go, but we we were not able to hear you. I think you have a connection issue. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me better now? Yes, clearly. Okay, great. So, um, so far, I would say it's the best presentation I have seen until now. Uh, off the top of my head, it, it contains all the elements that I, that I would be interested interested in in uh, uh, in knowing. Um, just one question, I would say, is whether 
uh, how advanced you are, let's say, with, with patenting and with making sure that uh, uh, you are complying with all the um, medical requirements and uh, especially approvals from, from medical authorities uh, and stuff, because I know that that can be sometimes uh, tricky. Um, but overall, in terms of presentation, I would give a five. I just leave this this question to maybe um, address a little bit better. Or maybe I I failed to to grasp it, but um, uh, that would be uh, good to have more details on that because uh, yeah, sometimes it can get tricky to get approvals if they are required. So if not, better to just say it so that uh, as an investor I know that you don't have uh, uh, potential um, regulatory issues. Let's say. Thank you, thank so, you. In general, I, I, I also like it. Uh, I really like uh, the team and there were much more in this presentation. Uh, I'm a bit worried how you plan to sell your product to, I don't know, special forces, big hospitals, or I don't know. So it's, it can be really tricky, but uh, there are ways. So. I really would give a strong four. Thanks, Daniel. Raimo? Thank you. Yeah, I'd give also four. Mm, I always like the ideas which potentially actually help people to save lives in real life. Uh, but uh, indeed, it seems to be a very complicated product. So uh, there are a lot of risks involved, I guess. All right. Uh, Ragnar? Yes, I wanted to uh, start my feedback uh, with the word impressive. Uh, I liked it also, presentation. Uh, I would like to give five, but I would say very strong four. So I will stick four. Uh, uh, I have my own phrase that also, it, as Raimo said also, that it seems quite complicated product. And... Uh, about the unit price and all the rights and all such things also the same same issues uh, from my side but also i see the strong team behind it uh, if you succeed in execution then i'm, I'm thinking there's no nothing holding, holding you back in that in that sense so thank you thanks sir kalyan so I would also agree, quite an impressive presentation and I would agree with the other jury members. Apart from the patents, what I see is, you know, multiple three to four deployable units, like, you know, in terms of medical or, you know, in terms of medical usages, you can have, you know, readily deployed parts, but coming to the mass where, you know, you're gonna save lives and deploy it to special forces, or, you know, gonna give it to emergency EMR, emergency medical response units. So that's where I think the tricky parts comes in. So where you know you have to manufacture each and every unit designed specifically for them, and also you have to put a tag and insurance on them. So that's one thing I want to know about is the profit that you make out of each unit when I'm trying to invest. So yeah, apart from that, everything is good, and I would give it a strong four and five if I get to know you know about the variance in the industries that you're planning on and how many how much of it is executable and how much of it is planned to be executed. Great. Thank you, uh, fellow uh, panelists, um, jury members, and thank you, David and uh, Michael, for the presentation I'm the team. Now, um, thank you guys. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I, you have my. Um, sure. And we can meet also in the uh, meet events after that. It will, it will be a good idea. For sure. For sure. Thanks. Now we have uh, Liz and then uh, Igor should uh, get uh, ready. Uh, well, Liz will also give you the, the right to, to pitch. Uh, don't worry. So you can share your screen. It's okay. Now okay. Yeah. No problem. You, Tell me when I'm ready, when you're ready to go. You should be ready now. So just uh, give it a try and uh, let's see if it works. Okay, I won't be able to share the screen. I'm just gonna go into my pitch. Hi everyone, how are you today? 
My name is Liz Steele, and I'm the creator of Nail Drive Fund. I would like to introduce to you today a new innovation that once on the market is going to change the way people all over the world look at beauty care, technology, and how this can all work together to make a difference in the life of the user. Nail Drive Fund is currently looking for 950,000 US dollars for an investment from an investor who's looking to make a lot of money on their investment. Nail Drive Fund is currently valuing at several million dollars based on early stage pre-profit valuations, including Equidem, and has been in product development for over three years. The investment amount requested will be used to help with getting 30 million or more users to download the product and at least 10 million of them making a purchase and other soft costs. We have an in-depth marketing strategy using several key markets and several advertising venues. The application will be in several languages, released in several countries, using many global app store markets that are available. The current technology that we're using is growing and working under many types of consumer tests and beta trials that proves the application is ready to go into mass usage right away. What is Nail Drive Fund? Nail Drive Fund is a fun in your face application that will serve consumers in the $6.4 billion beauty industry market. Nail Drive Fund is set to be the new way to get a common task accomplished better and quicker with less chance of error than when using, when using the application than without using the application. An app that dries your nails quickly using most types of nail polish on the market is a great concept and works as described by using a smartphone or a smart device system. Polishing fingernails on a regular basis is an important part of many women's professional and personal life. The ease and time needed to paint fingernails yourself can often, often be the deciding factor if someone does their nails or not. Many women and a select group of guys find getting their nails manicured, even in a professional salon setting, a tedious and time-consuming task, too much to fit their busy schedule. One smudge or dent can ruin any nail polish job and make the process of removing the fresh nail polish completely and starting all over again just very upsetting. Nail Dry Fund has the solution by drying wet fingernails in half the time and once optimized, wet nail polish can be dried using the app in as quick as three minutes for both hands using regular nail polish and application norms, a base coat, two color coats, and a top coat. The average time to let nail polish dry is about 12 to 15 minutes or more. Our application takes six minutes for both hands and can be optimized to three minutes. And the speed of drying gets quicker as the user uses the app and trusts the process. I'm almost concluding now. Nail Dry Fun has no direct competitors, being a new technology in the nail care industry. Nail Dry Fun is Sorry, I need to use... interrupt you. Sorry, it's three minutes, 10 seconds oh, already. Great, right. thank you. Even though you said you're wrapping up. I, yeah, you... I had three more sentences, yeah. but it's okay. Thank you. Yeah. If you have some visuals, you could still uh, share them on the screen. So yeah, I, it's not really working for me because I have a narration over my okay. slide, so I couldn't get it to undo it. All right, so let's uh, give the floor to the jury members. Who is first? Okay, guys. Or like <laughs> wow i know you're not used to to speak about that but maybe you can give a, a male feedback about this project who me no no uh panelists uh kaylin uh Kalian? yeah so coming to this part I, I, what i'm not sure about giving the score is, you know, the technology being used. I understand that there's an application, but how is it directly gonna, you know, is it a trial and error one or is the product already, you know, available in the market or the app already available in the market? As I can see that it is a pre-profit ratio has been given out, but not pretty sure about this market. So I'm gonna refrain commenting on that, but yeah, definitely I would give the pitch a two because there's no, you know, visual presentation for this for me to understand on how it works.
Uh, I can give my grade also. Uh, I will give also two. Because I got, I, I understood the issue, but the wrist uh, was a bit messy, I have to say. Sorry about that. Uh, and due to the lack of presentation also, I tried to understand it. Um, I, I understood what you need exactly about the money wise to go to the next level, but uh, but exactly what you're gonna do, the, it was a bit messy. So two from my side, thank you. Thank you, how about the other jury members? Would anyone else like to give a comment or it's really out of your scope to comment? Uh, just shortly, uh, so the idea was a bit new for me and uh, I'm not uh, familiar with this market, but um, in general, yeah, some visual would help a lot. And um, yeah, I, I lost somewhere in the middle of the presentation for a bit, um, but maybe that was my fault. Um, but like for to summarize it, I will give it to as well. Yes, thanks. Uh, Liz, you should be able to share your screen. You could just try it. And uh, it, uh, if it doesn't work, you could tell us, but basically you should be able to share it. Oh, so I'm an attendee or a panelist? Coming as a panelist? Well, no. I guess just, you know what, I'm just gonna send you a link uh, to, to, okay. to, to it and you can take a look at it because it, it's a little better, but just give me a couple of minutes. I'll, I'll put the Great. link to the chat. No problem, thanks a lot. Thank and then so we much. could revisit this. Uh, okay, no problem. That was fun. Yeah, we, we could uh, further discuss it in the air meet. But okay. I just feel that uh, uh, unfortunately we have a very male uh, jury uh, today, <laughs> and uh, okay. somehow we feel reluctant to comment on it. But if any other jury member would like to comment. Yeah, yes, I have one comment that I would like to, to make. Um, sure. If I understood correctly, anyway, uh, what the, the solution you're proposing requires some technical device beside the app. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, if uh, if Excuse that's the me, case- Excuse me, you're wrong. It doesn't require a technical device, but that you said that I required a, techno a technical device uh separately other than a server system it's a technology what device would i need it's a computer program and it activates okay phone that that draws apps on every phone once the person okay the okay that's it okay then 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 fine then it, then this is clear uh so just as a confirmation uh your target is uh, um uh, retail retail uh, users. I mean, you're not uh, uh, working business to business, let's say, but business to consumer, right? Yeah, business to consumer. That's correct. Except that we will be. Um, this can work in nail salons for a subscription service, and what that means is that once the app gets going, their cash paying customers can download the free version, and then they can pay at the nail salon maybe three extra dollars to do the quick draw. And it kind of is a way they can activate it once they're in the subscription that their phone will do it. As okay. far as not the um, at salon. So we have a plan for that. We also have a plan to sell a version to an influence buyer as one of their cheaper products uh, that they do their own nail app that's named something else. Once it gets out there and they buy for like five to six million dollars, all done for them and it'll dry nails, but it will catch on. And we also later. We do have a, nail, a, a hair conditioning app that's along the line of the technology. And what happens is, is that when you put your conditioner in and you go around the conditioner with your phone, when you style your hair, you're going to notice it's longer, bigger, and prettier. And we would like to okay. uh, respond with companies Great. like Red Le Lawn. Liz, sorry, sorry if I interrupt. So in the interest of time also for, uh, for all the others. So thank you for this first explanation. I think... Um, I probably I, I failed to understand it, uh, exactly and uh, that would be good in general for the future to understand exactly a bit more the, the technology what is behind I think it's uh, potentially interesting for sure and uh, although I'm not uh, also not, not probably the best uh, suited person to, to judge but uh, um, yeah a bit more to understand about the, the market and the um, and the technology behind it. I think it would be interesting, your plans. 
Yeah, I have a yeah, business that's... plan too. I, it's okay. I just had fun. You don't even have to worry about it. That was great. I had a great time, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Liz. Let's you. Uh, further discuss this in the air meet. So please stay with us. And I advise the jury members to check your one pager that you shared there. It's uh, very informative. And uh, now I would like to give the floor to uh, Igor from uh, IREG1, and right after him, it's the last pitch by uh, Daria from uh, a startup called Craft Bay. So, Igor, if you're still here with us, I, you should be able to talk and uh, pitch. Igor? Yes, uh, do you Yes, I could hear you. Uh, could you also share your screen? You are a panelist now, so you should be able to do that. Yes, uh, thank you. Just a second. I will share a presentation. Yes, uh, do you see my screen? Yes, three, two, uh, one, you go. Uh, thank you, I'm Igor, I'm CEO of iRich. We are e-commerce robotic protection for aggregators and sellers in 179 countries. Uh, what we do, we help uh, the sellers of Amazon uh, who sell more than $1 million uh, a year. Uh, they struggle from uh, the, uh, the counterfeit, the, uh, the pirated copies of their products. Uh, people search for their products they would like to buy and they just check on AliExpress and other sites if they can buy it cheaper. And the problem is that there is a counterfeit which is not uh, up to the high quality and also uh, it is uh, they lose revenue. Uh, please meet our customer uh, Stavros. Uh, he was desperate uh, fighting this problem during three years and uh, his uh, furniture was copied simply uh, by, by the photo with the CNC machines. Uh, the the uh, competitors, the pirates uh, were copying uh, the furniture and selling on other sites. So we blocked uh, 100, uh, uh, 1,500 links. Uh, we protected seven, uh, 700 designs uh, Stavros provides. And so we do it continuously with uh, 200 uh, more uh, pirate websites a month. Uh, so uh, this requires a lot of automation and uh, this is our advantage. Uh, how do we help? We reduce 75% uh, losses. So customers lose up to 30% of their revenue to, uh, yearly to turnover. And we uh, reduce it by 75%, minus 80% of legal costs. And uh, what is the most important is 90% time. Because uh, to block violations, uh, it takes time. And so the longer they, uh, they stay alive, uh, those uh, pirated links, uh, the less money they get. How we do it? Uh, we provide electronic certificates which are recognized in 179 countries. We protect all the assets. Uh, we find automatically all the uh, pirated links and we block them. So when people access the sites, they receive a uh, 404 um, uh, error message. We validated our product in six countries. We have a revenue 15,000 uh, US dollars a month. We have 2,000 customers and the numbers are growing uh, twice every three months. And um, so we are focused on this uh, sweet spot of uh, the Amazon sellers uh, with uh, uh, who, who 25,000 Amazon sellers who sell for more than $1 million a year. And uh, our paycheck is uh, 50 to 75,000 uh, uh, dollars a year. So uh, in, in, uh, we have a distinct uh, differentiation between uh, uh, our competitors because we provide bulk automation and we search for violations automatically. Uh, the team is absolutely awesome. We have a PhD uh, in, in law. Uh, Sorry, I and... have to interrupt you. We already passed three minutes and uh, it won't be fair to the others. Let's keep it at the last slide and uh, let's open the floor for the jury. Thank you, uh, Igor, really, really interesting. So Kalyan, would you like to start first? Yep, sure. So I quite like the presentation and I like that, you know, I didn't see, you know, according to my experience, I didn't see many of the competitors in the space. I'm not really sure if anyone can correct me. So yeah, apart from that, I do understand, you know, like I, I'm assuming that it's a subscription-based service 
and you know there are different subscriptions available different packages available um, that way you know also it is recognized but i would even like to know you know how many other established companies are using it apart from amazon because amazon is a key revenue as well yeah but you know soon or later you would be turning out a lot of customers from in there and you would be actually moving to the next step so i would like to know more about the next step i would give it a strong four because this is deployable and it has already been deployed with in 179 countries that's fine great to know that you have a law phd as well so yeah thanks uh, Ragnar? Uh, yes, thank you. Finally, somebody came up with the idea. <laughs> uh, I really like the idea. Uh, I really like the presentation. Uh, quite clear uh, target group uh, to who you're marketing, uh, your selling product, and uh, quite clear understanding how you do it. Of course, there's room to expand to make your positions more stronger. Um, but I would even give give uh, a very strong four or even five. I would even say because I really see value there, and uh, yeah, this is this is the way. Otherwise, it's like no man's land, and you're chasing the wind uh, on the field if you're trying to solve the things through the regular channels. I would say. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I will, uh, yeah, let's place five. Yeah, the execution right. is very good. Yeah, great. Uh, Daniel, I really like the presentation, it was straightforward, understandable. Um, nice graphics. Mm, yeah, I, I would give a five as so. well. Thanks, Federico. Yeah, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, yes, I also like very much the presentation. You are uh, uh, clearly stating what is your uh, market, your product, your team. Your uh, that that's pretty solid from from my point of view. So, also what I like is that you are also stating uh, what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more about your uh, roadmap uh, would be good. I don't, know, I don't know if you have it uh, uh, later in the in your deck, but um, yeah, I would uh, say this is a five. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Raimo. Yes, I give five as well. I like the product. It it seems very valuable for those sellers who can benefit from that. The only thing is, uh, well, life usually shows that bad guys are always a few steps ahead. So definitely the, the product needs to be developed further, like on daily basis. But uh, yeah, I, I, as a representative of e-residency team, um, we understand that there are a lot of e-commerce uh, businesses around and uh, Quite many of them would benefit from that kind of product. Yeah, five from me. Great. I hope uh, everyone from the jury members have uh, spoken. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Igor and uh, IREC for their presentation. Good luck with it. Please join us for the air meet to interact further with the jury members and get some more feedback maybe opportunities for cooperation. And last but not least today, the final presentation. So we can't take more presentations for today, but join us on the 17th of October for the next one. Next pitching session, Craft Bay and uh, Daria, the floor is yours and you should be able to present now. So just let us know if you could really present. Daria, please unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yes. you. We can't see you because it's all black. Yeah. It's a black screen. Oh, no, no, I'm here. <laughs> yes, <Hello>. magical. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me try to share the screen. Um, 
into a screen. Yes, we could see your screen now. So can three, I say the two, one? Now you could go. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone, and please welcome Craft Bay. Craft Bay is a marketplace for artistic and crafted fine jewelry. Why we will always purchase jewelry? First of all, this is the contribution into emotions, love, romance, friendship, holidays. It is contribution as a capital. Fine jewelry retains and increases in value. It is flexible and can be converted into money or new jewelry item and new emotions. Finally, most important, jewelry makes emotions real, perceived, touchable, and true. So this is our target market. Handcrafted fine jewelry market is tremendously huge and it keeps growing by 5% each year. Online sales grow by 20% each year. This is our target audience and pay attention that there are more sellers and among women. And so supporting jewelry sellers, we support women business. Uh, rapid growth of the market requires new distribution sources. The jewelry community is a very inert and conservative environment. It demands high status, safe in popular marketplace that is separated from general and handmade platforms like Etsy and Amazon. What for buyers demand? Um, it is evident that when we shop online, we look for the unique designs, best quality and fair prices without extra charge. We have talked already about contribution into emotions. This demands special contact and special jewelry that understands your soul and mind. So here at Craft Bay, we connect private jewelers and buyers from all over the world so they can find the best match. We study and analyze competitors like Jewel Street, Artfire, Novica. They all have come to approximately the same model of luxury and designer department store. Thus, they are not fine jewelry marketplaces anymore. I do know, I do now, I don't is an example of the successful jewelry store in a similar concept. Um, the site offers used or unsuitable diamond engagement rings. So our advantages, we have um, exclusive database of over 5k private jewelers throughout the world. We have approximately 500 users in craft based social media accounts like Facebook, uh, private groups, uh, Insta, LinkedIn. Um, one for business model, we apply brokerage business model charge and commission for each sale that included that is included in the, into the price. So please meet our team. We need investment for marketing, development and growth. So believe me, the artistic handcrafted fine jewelry will always stay in trend because it is powered by positive emotions and creates capital. Thank you. Thank you too. Perfect timing, just uh, well on time. Uh, well, now let's uh, give the floor to the jury. I think you can stop sharing your screen because we see ourselves yes, there. <laughs> yes. That's very nice presentation. You look good. Uh, Thanks. Thanks. Let's hear the jury members. Uh, let's start with uh, Raimo this time. Um, I'd give four because I um, I believe that um, female to female entrepreneurship needs to be supported. Um, and I do understand that a lot of those uh, crafters need uh, the, the, the solution how, where, how to sell their products. However, I guess uh, you, told, um, you you mentioned a couple of times uh, the emotions um, as this is like very emotional product uh, then uh, I'm a bit uh, I'm not so sure how good it is to sell uh, such an emotional product online like uh, there is all there will always be the fact that person actually wants to see the, the real thing but you know maybe i'm wrong but uh, all in all i guess uh, the idea is good uh, but uh, yeah let's see uh, maybe the, the competition is also 
one thing to consider as uh, as you you mentioned that the like the big uh, big marketplaces or big players are also selling other stuff, uh, but but at the same time, uh, bigger players have bigger uh, budgets for marketing as well. So, yeah, yeah I think it's it's a tough uh, market, but yeah, poor. Thank you. Thank you too. And uh, Ragnar? Yeah, I uh, I was thinking also. I I will still give four, but unfortunately it's a rather weak four uh, because uh, I like the idea again, like in Wine Hub, the connecting the dots, the sellers and buyers, and it gives uh, opportunity definitely to small producers. Um, again, I didn't understand exactly how you're going to gain the reach to the market because it uh, makes a lot of money to compete with the big players. Uh, uh, so this part clarifies definitely how you're going to do it. Um, uh, and I agree with uh, Raimo that uh, yes, you, you can choose your jewelry. But uh, when you reach the moment to buy it, you really would like to try it. <laughs> so, so, so if you solve this part also, I don't know, some sending back or like sending uh, several ones or I understand they are expensive or some trying points, then yeah, maybe it can be better than the idea or applying then a better way. So yeah, four. Thanks. 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 Daniel? Um, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know, like you show me a lot of numbers of the market, but like, uh, do you know the segmentation of the market? Like, uh, how many big players, which, which size of the market is, uh, connected to the big players and how much of them, like, uh, th this is the statistics just from private handmade handmade markets without oh. big players. It is. So it's it's like... only private. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Then I, I made a mistake. Um, it is yeah, very impressive. That... I know. No, no one pays attention to it. <laughs> it is impressive. Yeah. It is. So that's that's crazy. But yeah, <laughs> in the end, um, I would need I think one more time to go through your presentation, but. I would go. I would go with the four, the strong four. Okay, great. Thanks, uh, Federico. Yeah, um, I would say overall also four from from my side as well. Um, the only concern, let's say, that, that comes to my mind is, uh, well, maybe it could be even a, actually a, a um, potentially a good thing, but uh, just to something to to. Take, uh, to pay attention on, so I, I like the the um, I, I believe this handmade uh, market. Uh, besides the the figures that uh, that you were showing, which are impressive, is also uh, something which will grow in in the future. And uh, and uh, your solution is is going in the right direction. Uh, one um, maybe topic that could be good to address a little bit better is how you would uh, eventually face a potential competition also from big players as uh, um, was, was mentioned also before. Like, I don't know what happens if, if Amazon starts uh, competing seriously on on, uh, on this segment. They are already offering a, a handmade section, let's say, so uh, maybe not of jewelry. I, I don't know in details, to be honest, but mm -hmm. I know that there is, and what, if, what happens if they start to uh go into this seg in this segment heavily let's say it could be potentially a good thing because maybe they decide to acquire you for example so it could be a potential way, way for an exit but then um yeah it needs to be you need to to be able to quickly reach a, a large enough scale so that you become interesting for the the big guys uh for a potential acquisition so these are these are things that uh, that uh, yeah can be good and can be tricky at the same time and would be good to have a bit more uh, clarity on on these points. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, Federico. Last but not least, Kalia. 
So I was actually going to the website as well of CraftPay and it seemed quite good and something which is quite exquisite and you know we don't get it. But what I was thinking about is do we actually have complete bespoke, you know, complete bespoke bespoke made just for a custom person altogether? Because the designs that are, you know, handmade are quite rare and you know, you just roll out in few batches that right? you don't roll out in a mass thing. So I just wanted to know, you know, if you had something like some sort of ambassador, some sort of person who can actually get you a mass rollout with these bespoke designs, or if there is a option for, you know, going bespoke as well. So yeah, that's, I would give it a strong four because yeah, the designs look good to me. So thank you. Thank you too, uh, Daria. And uh, with this, we are finishing with the pitches and evaluations, but there are two big surprises. First, before we announce the results, please uh, open up this uh, link, AirMeet. We're going to continue our interaction there right after we close uh, Zoom. So please open it in your internet browser and uh, don't uh, live here. But uh, I was uh, going to uh, tell you that we're going to announce the results and we're going to announce prices that we may have today. I don't know if uh, the jury members have some prices to offer. Uh, I know that uh, the partners in this have, and I know that, for example, the e-residency team is um, supporting some participants with scholarships for participation. And I know that one office as a partner is also preparing a special prize. Uh, but uh, to answer the question, there will be a recording and the Founder Institute will publish it in the YouTube channel. So it will be widely available. You will be famous all over the world. Uh, one day when you become a very big unicorn, everyone would take this recording and they would use it as a reference for others to learn from you. So before we go to AirMeet, are you ready for the results? I have taken notes here and uh, the ov overall average uh, scores are like this. We have an average um, of uh, four for Vitali Langley, Kevin, Weinhap, um, Mikhail David, Founder Systems, Craft Beer. We have uh, two for Preet, Radhika, and Liz with the idea that they, the jury members further want to discuss and understand your idea. It was not clear for me as well. And the absolute winner uh, from today is, uh, wow, well, where, where are the emoticons? I can't do emoticons, but maybe uh, jury members and uh, when you could do the handshake and the uh, cap. So this is uh, Igor and Irek, congrats. You are the winner, so to say, with the highest score for today. And uh, good luck to everyone else that wants to continue. Before we go to AirMeet, are there any prices that you want to announce or uh, we leave it to a later moment in AirMeet or the next session? I think we leave it to Hermit, right? Is it Ragnar? Yes, uh, actually, as I mentioned already, it depends, of course, the uh, need of the company. Uh, we can definitely support uh, support uh, uh, participants uh, or like winner uh, with our business services. And if this company need, we, as we stated, we are ready to offer fully free uh, company formation and uh, with full pack of services. And with, uh, with IREG also, uh, already some new ideas came in my mind as we also serving some Amazon customers, uh, providing the um, Amazon package uh, in company formation and setting up the account. Uh, why not? to bring out some joint service even, but let's discuss it later on. All right, and 
uh, before we wrap up, let's thank everyone for the participation, for the jury member, for their uh, important uh, feedback, uh, time, and uh, scores that they have given. For everyone that pitched here, our next event will be on the 23rd um, of September at 6 Estonian time. And it's a Ask Me Anything session with legal experts from uh, one office and uh, Hedman Partners. So feel free to join us. There will be another session of uh, the uh, pitches evaluation later on in October on the 17th. So feel free to join us then as well. And for now, thank you for the participation. Please join us in air meet. We will just start in three minutes there if you want some further interaction with all of us. On behalf of the organizers from the Founder Institute, from uh, the e-residency team from one office and everyone else that has volunteered today for this amazing event. Thank you so much. It has been great pleasure. See you in a bit. Thank you. Thanks a lot, everyone. And thank you. A nice Bye. evening. Bye-bye. Okay. See you in Aramid. Bye. Bye. Thank yeah. you, everyone. Come to Hamid. Bye-bye.